Hello, Abyss University. Um, I'm Bradley, and I read Drills by Ola Christendahl and Caitlin G. Cameron. Um, there's also a Drills 2.0, but, and I have that, but I'm just going to focus on Drills. Um, and so just to go over who these two are. Uh, professor Dahl is a professor at the Stadtliche Hochschule, my German's a little rough, uh, für Musik und Darstellende Kunst in Mannheim, and taught at the Royal Danish Academy of Music in Copenhagen, and also the Musik Hochschule in um, Mannheim as well. As well. And he's done master classes all over the world in Europe, America, Asia, literally everywhere. Um, has also had other professor uh, professorships and won multiple competitions. Um, so he's done quite a bit. And Caitlin G. Cameron is the second bassoon or er, and the contrabassoonist in the um, Swedish National Orchestra and played in the WDR Symphony, Norwegian National Opera, um, and the Swedish Radio Symphony Orchestra. And so just a little bit about this book. First, um, it just looks good. Like I got it and the quality was like really good. It's like a nice cover and it's like shiny. And um, it just made me happy with the quality. And before I even opened it, I knew it was gonna be good because I didn't know anything about this beforehand. Um, and so this book is something that says it, provi it provides um, a new way to describe fundamental things such as amateur and technique and breathing posture um, really anything you think of it's in this book and it's not even like big it's like very um, precise quick to the point information which is something I really appreciated it didn't um, go all around and it was just very to the point uh, what I didn't realize before getting this book was that it is mostly um, like words like there's there's a lot of reading and then in the back are the the drills and the reason why it's called drills um, so I guess I'll just go over the few points that like the main parts that I've changed about my playing since reading this and the big one is breathing for example um, one of the points was breathing above versus below the reed so you can just do this with your finger if you go like this and go you can hear it's like like a nice deep breath but if you go you can hear it's like a higher more uh, chest breath um, and that alone I've changed I've started to breathe by just lowering my jaw and breathing in and that's given me much more air to work with so much so that now I don't know what to do with it so I've been working on that but the quality of breaths that I've been getting has been way better um, and then it also goes into other aspects of breathing, like filling from, I, th I think this is a common thing, but filling from uh, low, high, so think of like filling everything. Um, another thing is embouchure, and he talks about it in sections, so like the corners are three, a little further in is two, and this is one, and um, he goes into a lot of detail about how to manipulate these different sections of your embouchure in order to change the um, dynamics and to stop air leaks, which I had not the worst air leak, but um, now I know how to fix it, and it really doesn't happen as much, and if it does, then I can immediately, oh, I know I need to um, tighten a little more on the corners and push it, like bring my lips to my teeth. Um, and that makes sense, if you actually read it, like, that would make sense. Um, and the last thing that really I've been thinking about is the concept of digging out. And so in this book, it says that each sound needs a core and then a dark side for blend and a bright side for projection, which I like because everybody always says, oh, I want to sound darker, I want to sound bright, but you need aspects of both which is something I've been learning in my lessons and learning all throughout this year, is that you need to have both in order to project and blend, just like the book says, um, and like Dr. S has been telling me. Um, but then he'll go into detail about how to 
um, achieve this, and just everything is so precise and almost like scientific, and I think that's why this book really works for me. Um, and then you get into the drills. There is a section about warming up on the read, but I'll go just like briefly into drill number one. Um, and it combines everything in the book, uh, such as preparation, so before you play, um, the digging out concept, which is that sound concept I just talked about. It, mi it mixes legato and staccato tonguing and um, different ranges and uh, he's very uh, adamant about not moving your fingers off of the keys if it's unnecessary um, like like unnecessary finger height uh, movement so the first drill which is just like I'll just do a brief like thing is um combines all of these practices into a little technical exercise just between three notes and it really it looks easy on the page and then you do it and you're like wow this is so much more difficult than I thought just because there's so much information that you just read that now you're trying to implement um, into your playing and it was almost like overwhelming for me not because I would just like be thinking about everything but then I would mess something up like tonguing and then I felt like I had to go back and really just go extra slow and think about it. Um, so there are two other drills and it's focusing on either, uh, there's a lot of like technique and tonguing. They all really focus on technique and uh, like finger technique and tonguing and support. Um, similar things that we talked about in studio already, but it's just, I think, a new way to approach it um, that I personally haven't heard before, which is why I think it really resonates. It's kind of like when a teacher says, oh, your your fingers move really high off the keys, but then you're like, oh, no, they don't. But then in someone else will say, oh, your fingers are moving higher off the keys, and you're like, oh, yeah, they really are. So it's similar to that, where it's like, it's stuff I've heard before, but just because I think it's a new approach, it really has resonated with me. And I'm, uh, each drill is supposed to be done, there's four, and each one is done every day, um, and I've been doing this for maybe a week or so, and I can already tell a huge difference in my sound. It's really opened up. My tonguing has gotten better. Um, I had to change a couple of things, or I want, um, yeah, I changed a couple of things after I read this, and also my overall sound. I think that's the biggest thing, is my sound has just gotten bigger in my embouchure. I have less air leaks, um, but yeah, anyway. I highly, highly recommend this book. Um, I don't think, I think anybody can use it, like even a beginner. Um, you just have to shorten the range of the drills, like clearly don't go up to a high E if you can't. But um, I think also if you have a solid base for your fundamentals, like uh, in high school or higher, then I think it might help a little more just because you know um, the way he describes stuff, you'll be like, oh, okay, that makes sense, and you'll know what to change, but if a brand new person were to use this, they might not, um, know exactly how to fix the issues, but I think anybody really could use it, but, um, yeah, I guess that's my book review. I also have Jules 2.0, but, um, I haven't looked at it as much as this one, just because I wanted to get the basics of what he's, like, talking about and understand how he describes stuff before I moved on to that one, but, um, yeah, I would highly recommend this book. I've definitely implemented it into my everyday practice, um, and yeah, I'm definitely happy with my, my purchase. So, if you have any questions, I guess, let me know. But, uh, goodbye!